although lacrosse is modest. <laughs> What do you think it's for? There isn't much to do here apart from hiking trails. Yet there is always more to appreciate about here. As someone who has lived here for five years, I can attest that there are wonderful hidden gems here, such as the enormous Lacrosse Antique Store. Three enormous floors everything you could want. When we went into the store today, I purchased a Star Wars figure, Yak Face, made in 97. I thought it was pretty cool. The tastiest smoothie I have ever had was made at this amazing coffee shop called Grounded. But uh, beware when you go there, they are always busy. Lacrosse loves their coffee, and Lacrosse loves grinding. Museums, bars, ice cream shops, and even fantastic comic book shop called River City Hobbies. But nonetheless, there's one thing that you must see while you are here, and that is the stunning view of the Cathedral of St. Joseph in Brooklyn. I mean, just Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty tall and one of the tallest buildings in lacrosse. You will have plenty of time to explore downtown lacrosse with available free parking on Sunday and available free parking pretty much anytime after 6 p.m. After doing our walk today, we realized that probably the best way to get the most out of downtown lacrosse is just by walking up and down the streets. We loved touring downtown lacrosse, but we would give this experience still a 2 out of 5. Despite its wonderful location and its amazing unique history, there's not much about this place that would attract a visitor to come again. Nonetheless, there is still a lot more things to see in the beautiful state of Wisconsin. So why don't you stick with and explore with us. We want to thank you, and we want to wish you safe travels, and we will talk to you later.